Hi, Barry Ward here. I'm in Dunleary Town Centre today on the centenary of the decision by the Kingstown Town Commissioners here to change the name of the town from Kingstown to Dunleary as we know it today. Uh, originally, the town of Dunleary was a small fishing settlement down near the Perty Kitchen, or what we would now know as the Perty Kitchen, at the end of the West Pier. And that became a much bigger settlement after they decided to build a harbour and the railway, the Dublin to Kingstown Railway, that was completed in 1834. In 1821, the British monarch George IV visited Ireland, and when he left, he left from Dunleary Harbour on his return to, to Britain. When he left, his modest parting gift to the town of Dunleary was to change the name to Kingstown. And that was the name that remained for 99 years after that, until the town commissioners here in 1920 changed the name back to Dunleary or Dunleary. So it was in this very room in 1920 when the Kingstown Town Commissioners, as they then were, the predecessors of Dunleary Red Down County Council, voted to change the name of the town back to Dunleary from Kingstown. Now they spelled it slightly different, they used the Irish spelling, previously it had been Dunleary, D-U-N-L-E-A-R-Y, but now the official spelling of this town is D-U for the N, L-A-O-G-H-A-I-M-R-E, and it is the only town in Ireland that has a single name in both the Irish and English languages, and that was the case since 1920, which of course was before um, the establishment of the Irish Free State or the signing of the Anglo-Irish Treaty, so it was really with great foresight that they changed the name here in 1920, and they deserve great credit for it, and we celebrate that centenary today.